welcome to my journey. We are back today for another No Tag Tuesday. Got my Mr. Smooth with me. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> this month's questions are from Valerie Reese over at Valerie Reese. So be sure and go check her out. Matter of fact, be sure and go check out everybody in the description box because all the participants will be down there. This tag is all about school. Okay. Are you ready? I reckon so. All right. We're going to start. Number one, if you had to take one class in any school, what would it be? One class in any school. I want to go ahead. I'm thinking. I, I would take sign language in whatever school they had. Back, how many years back, I checked this over here. Rowan, you know, mm -hmm. they used to have it, but they have it no more. Well, I'm now to the point to where I don't, I'm not coordinated enough, and I don't think I'm fast enough. My reflexes aren't fast enough to do it, so I don't think right. I would be good at it. But if I could, that's what I would. I've always wanted to know it. Um, I bet I know what you think. What? Some kind of mechanic and something. Yeah, that's what that's I was what thinking. He's gonna say, wasn't uh, it? But. The question is, would I take it now? Um, if you had yeah. to take one class in any school. Yeah, I, I would have to go. Uh, I'd like to go to engine building school. Uh, I mean, I know the basics, but I I'm, I like to learn how to do, like, race engines, stuff like that. Oh, you know, yeah. um, I, I would like to do that. I think I'd, I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Because engines has always fascinated me from the time I was, you know, really young, you yeah. know. So, yeah, I have to say that. I figured. Number two, if you were in charge of the cafeteria lunch, what meal would you make for the kids? Well, it depends on the age of the kids. I, which is probably why I'm fat, <laughs> would feed them what they want. Not what they need. That's how I do my grandchildren. I can't help it. I can't help it. I would rather feed somebody what they want, what they like, and what they would eat. Yeah. As opposed to what I think is good for them. And I know that's wrong. That's the wrong attitude. But I can't help it. I'm like Mama. I want you to eat. It kills me to not feed you the way I want to feed you. It does. It kills me. Yeah. So I would probably give them them good square lunch pizzas. Mm -hmm. That's what Chick I was thinking. <laughs> yep. Chicken nuggets, french fries. <laughs> I ain't going to sit here and pretend like I'm going to give them, excuse me, vegetables. No, I, I'm not going to give them vegetables because I don't want vegetables. I, I think that goes with an acquired taste. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, you can force it on them all you want, but you can't you make was, it what, what was you forced and now you won't touch it? Uh, when I was in, um, preschool uh, of all things my preschool teacher tried to force me to eat cabbage and um, I I refused I mean I, I held out to the very end I because I didn't like it and I wasn't gonna eat it and um, she made me sit there and um, and I didn't touch cabbage till I met you yeah and that now he was, still won't eat slaw but he 30 years could. 25 30 years later yeah. And, yeah. Um, but, and the only reason I did then is because I knew cabbage was good for you. And at the time I was, I was changing my eating habits. I was uh, eating better stuff for me, stuff like that. And I, I knew cabbage was good for me. Uh, and that's why I started learning how to eat it, you know. But boy, she, and, uh, you, you yeah, can't do she, that to a youngin. Yeah, because it ruined me for like say 25 30 years yeah you know, and so number three if you could do it over and were financially able would you homeschool your kids nope no i wouldn't no. i think they grew up i would have not wanted to be homeschooled because i enjoyed growing up the way i grew up i enjoyed school i enjoyed all the stuff that come along with it I think my kids 
Now, today, in the world today, I, I'm not going to say, because maybe I would. But the way they grew up, and... I, I think there's a sense of quality that comes with that education. You have, yeah, have I don't, quality in that. I don't education. think I could give them what I, they got. I know I could. Yeah. And, and you have to have people that are trained to teach people and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, you... Uh, it's nothing that your average person, the average Joe at home can do. <laughs> not us. No, not me. <laughs> I know I could, you know. What is something all kids should learn before they graduate high school? <sighs> oh my gosh, all kind of stuff. Oh Lord. Everyday stuff. Nobody writes checks anymore, but you need to know how to write a check. You need to know how to balance a checkbook. You need to know how to wash okay. clothes. Cook a basic meal. Stuff, um, life skills. I don't think they teach enough life skills. Now, when we yeah. were in school, they did. I don't think they do anymore. And if it is, it's, it's an elective. You're not forced to learn. But you don't hear about home ec and stuff mm -mm, like that anymore. Mm -mm, like you, used you, know. you know, used to when I was in school, you had home ec. Um, I took typing. I took shop. Typing, home ec. Yeah. Um, I, I took a wood, wood shop when I was in high school and stuff like that. Well, now, I took all my stuff in uh, before I got to high school. When I got to high school, none of that was required. Mm -hmm. Those were all electives. You could take them if you wanted to. But I think some of those classes should be required. Mm -hmm. You should learn how to get through life with just some basic life skills because mm -hmm. I don't think they're being taught. Let's see. If you could do it over, would you change your major or change your career? If so, what would it be? I'm assuming we're talking about college here. I had a major um, special education. I didn't finish college. I would not change it. If I had to do it all over again, I would finish. And my career would have been a special education teacher. But I blew it. Your turn. <laughs> Um, I never went to college, um, so I didn't have a major or anything like that. Um, Would you change your career? No, I, I was think I, I think I was meant to be a truck driver, and I I mean it's in my blood. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have so. fun. It, you know they always say um, uh, find something you like to do, and you never work a day in your life. Yeah, yeah. And I, I found it. I mean I don't I don't consider what I do work. You know, uh, I mean, it's, hey, it's strenuous. Hey, I, have, yes. I have manual labor to my job, but um, yeah, you don't just yeah. jump in a truck and drive. Trust me, he has plenty of other things he oh, has yeah. to do. Yeah. But he don't ever come in and complain like, ah, you know, none of that stuff. He yeah. likes what he does. Yeah. What What was your favorite activity in gym class? A uh, horse. You know, when you do the spring jump on the horse. No. You never do that? No. I did. Uh, it was like uh, gymnastics uh, part of the class. Oh, you mean the, well, you do the, the long, long mats? You do the long mats, and then at the end, there's the spring jump with the um, with the horse and all that. Oh, we didn't do gymnastics. Oh, you didn't? No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had fun doing that. I, I that don't know cool. that I had a favorite activity. If I did, I don't remember it. Cause I didn't take, I, I took gym, I guess we had to have it in, I didn't have it in high school. I, I guess I had it in the, maybe the, the eighth or ninth grade or something. Yeah. I can't remember. I don't know what my favorite, I really don't know. If you had to teach one class in elementary school, what would it be? Valerie, nothing. If, what now? <laughs> if you had to teach one class in elementary school, what would it be? Oh, if I, had I ain't teaching, teach no, I ain't teaching no elementary students. So I don't have no patience for that. Mm. What class would I teach? Hmm. Mm -mm. I ain't teaching nothing with no glue, no scissors, <laughs> <laughs> no glitter, no math. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Maybe English. Maybe I'd teach English. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. English. Teach them how to write, stuff like that. 
Yeah. You know, they, I, they, oh, I, come, I come back to the old school where we they teach them, them cursive. cursive. Yes, yes. We, yeah. we will both teach cursive. Yeah, yep. because when I was in school, they made you do that. Yes. You had to do your letters individually, plus you had to learn how to cursive. Yes, I don't think they teach it. it no more. Mm -mm. I keep um, cards and letters I write to the grandkids. And, oh, I don't know, a couple years ago, it dawned on me, Sebastian, this is before Jacob was born, so it was a couple years ago, Sebastian might not be learning cursive, so I better start printing his cards and letters. So now I print everything for him and Jacob. Because they might get up, Sebastian might have four years worth of cards and letters that he can't even read because he can't read cursive. Mm -hmm. So I started printing them. So yeah, yeah, cursive, definitely. Let's see. Number eight, if you had to teach for one year, would you teach elementary, middle, high school, or adults? <sighs> I'm adults. Cause I feel like if they acted up, I could go one on one instead of jumping down the throat of some child. <laughs> right. <laughs> I wouldn't have the patience to um, correct a, a strange child in class right. the way I should. But an adult, I mean, I wouldn't be all, you know, uh, but, you know, if an adult got sassy, I wouldn't mind getting sassy back. Right. Whereas if a kid got sassy, you have to be careful. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have to say... I would have to say elementary if oh, I was gonna. Would you? Yeah. Oh. Because I mean, you're really. Well, you have patience. You're really teaching them the basics, you know, and getting them really started, you know. Uh, you have patience for it. He really does. He's he's got the patience of Job. I ain't lying. He does. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> well, you're quite welcome. Um, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I'd have to. I didn't say that, and I think teaching grown-ups would be cool. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like you. You know. You don't have to deal with all the bad behavior. Oh, yes, stuff. yes. Number nine, did any teacher make an impact on your life? Who and why? <laughs> I mean, I had some teachers I liked. I never had one that really stood out and made I it a big impact. You know, a big influence on me or anything uh -uh. like that. Me neither. I didn't have one that's just like laid down some kind of life changing wisdom or anything like that. Right. I mean, I had favorite teachers and teachers that took time with me, but nothing that, I know it sounds terrible, but I didn't have a, like you, I didn't have a. I did. We're going to pass. Okay. <laughs> Number 10. What class did you take in school that you find useless because you don't use it in your adult life? Math. The hard math. I don't use the hard math. I don't use all that X to the Y to the Z to the LMNOP and <laughs> yeah. you know them big ones. No, I don't use that. Yeah. Um. Math is one thing I wish I'd have done more of because now that I've got into building engines and stuff like that, you have to, that is, math is a big part of that. So I wish I'd have stuck with that more and went further with it. But now when it comes to the other ones. What was useless? Man, um. Well, hearing me talk, you'd probably say English. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, we just yam who we yam. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I don't have one that I really thought was just useless. I mean, all of them was all of them had its part. They all make you. You know. I'm sticking with hard math. Yeah. <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Yeah. Well, 
That was pretty good, Valerie. You didn't make me pick a favorite anything. Those, y'all know, are my hard ones. The his, too. Yeah. When we have to pick anything favorite, they're tough. Yeah, they are. So, there you go. There's our tag about school. And, um, like I said, all the participants will be down in the description box. And that will be it for us today. Yeah. I believe so. I believe so, too. So, I will see you. This, you're seeing this Tuesday. I think I got something coming up for you Wednesday. They not gonna be a grocery haul or nothing because we're we're going to the land of Oz this weekend. Yep. So I hope I'm gonna get a lot vlogged, so I'll have something for you next week. But I'll have some videos up for y'all. You'll be back for weigh in on Thursday. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh pumpkin spice season. <laughs> <laughs> Big mouth. <laughs> hey, I've been in on it too, so I can't say that. <laughs> it's like a theme frenzy. I can't help it. I get my fix because when it comes, I'm so excited for it to get here. And so then I go crazy. But anyway, well, that's all for us. We'll just quit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> See you on the next video. See ya. <laughs>